conditions. I know that's not bargainable, but teachers will be coming back next year. Are our buildings safe? Is the ventilation there that needs to be there? Have we been checking, when's the last time you checked the lead in the water in the buildings? Health insurance. At the last board meeting, we heard that that is $1 million in the hole, and that was for July. I am willing to bet, because our teachers are selfless, and they get the procedures done in the summer so it doesn't affect their work during the rest of the year. I'm willing to bet that August is going to show a deficit too. The last time I asked when I was on the board, we're supposed to have $3 million in that self-insurance fund as a balance. To be one million in the hole is a disgrace. So what are we going to do? We can't get that money off the backs of our teacher with increasing premiums. This might be finally the point where we have to go to the state's insurance. So we can get something that fits within the budget. Nobody wants to do that, but maybe it's time that that happens because of the debacle of the premiums with Anthem and having the self-insured insurance fund, one million in the hole for the month of July. A lot of things going on in Hammond. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any, is there anyone else that wishes to speak? Okay. Okay, that is the, uh, uh, what is required by the statute. And um, with that, the uh, public hearing with regard to collective bargaining uh, between the Board of School Trustees, School City of Hammond, and the Hammond Teachers Federation here is hereby concluded. Thank you so much for attending. Appreciate it. Thank you.